Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We're going to be talking today about folders, but specifically about being able to upload folders from your computer directly into your Google Drive. We're then going to look at how to rename your folders in case you decide, oh, I don't like the naming structure I had before. So creating new naming conventions for your folders and also how to reorganize even once your folder is inside of your Google Drive. So let's start by showing you a couple of quick different ways to be able to upload folders and files from your computer onto your Google Drive. So over on the left-hand side, you'll notice that you've got your main Google Drive folder. And if you have in mind already a folder where you want to add your files, then go ahead and select that folder. So sift through your folders and find the one you want and simply click on it like I have here. And you'll notice that that folder has been selected. It's the right folder you want because it is now uh, in a blue bounding box and the text is now blue. So you know you've selected this folder. So that when you come up here and click on new to be able to upload your um, folders or your files, they'll go directly into that folder. Okay, so what we're gonna do is select folder upload because we actually wanna bring in an entire folder. So I'm gonna click on folder upload and it'll take me to my uh, a window that is on my computer so I can see all of my content that would be on my computer. So I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to select um, a folder that I have in mind that I want to bring into these files. Um, so I'm going to say, OK, this folder here, 2020 new design look, and I'm going to click on upload. So that's going to start to upload that particular um, folder with all of the files that are within it. Now, I do want to point out that it will also bring in any subfolders you have. So if you already have a hierarchy within your folders that are on your desktop, it'll actually do that as well. Now, the folder I selected has a lot of files, so this is obviously going to take some time. So I'm going to cancel that, but that's the idea of how to do it. I'm going to show you a second way to do it, which is actually my preferred way, which is to simply drag and drop onto your Google Drive. So I'm going to move my window over. And I'm gonna to go to that file that I was actually in earlier. So this is the folder I was in that's on my desktop. But instead of that one folder that had a ton of files, let's find one that is actually a lot smaller so that um, we can actually complete um, the process um, during um, this particular tutorial. So I'm gonna actually come in here and let me close that, come back over and select it again. And I'm just going to select uh, business icons. And all I have to do is simply drag it. And you can see it's already actually doing um, that function because over here on this side, on the left-hand side of my screen, you can see that in the blue box down below, it says drop files to instantly upload them to graphic work. So it's identifying the folder that I'm going into. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go so it can start its process. And down here at the bottom right, you can see that it started that. It says one item, um, less than a minute left. So two items are actually being brought in with that folder. Again, when you drag folders in, it'll keep the hierarchy of the content within those folders. So again, if you have subfolders, it'll bring those subfolders in as well and so forth. But let's say once this has actually been brought in, I change my mind about the title. I don't like business icons. I want to change it. So I simply select and then right click over that um, folder and then select rename from the drop down menu. And here I can go ahead and let's say I just wanted to call it business. Click on OK, and now this has been renamed to be called business. The other thing I can do, I'm going to go ahead and select my folder over on the left hand side so that it opens up that folder and I can see the different uh, items here on the right hand side. I can actually reorganize this content if I decide this is not how I want my items to be placed. So I can drag and drop from the right hand side, which is my list view, over into different folders on the left hand side which in this case, I, I basically took one of those items and I dropped it into graphic work. So now when I click on graphic work, I have my two folders plus that one file. And again, you can drag and drop from here, from your list view over into the folders, subfolders, et cetera, how you want to reorganize your content. So that is how you go in and um, bring in folders from your desktop, from your computer over into Google Drive. Um, that's also how you, we just went through reorganizing and also renaming um, content. 
So really simple step um, to be able to do that. Hopefully that helps you organize your content that you're bringing in from your Google, uh, from your computer onto your Google Drive. One last tip that I wanna share with you, um, for those of you who are in a school account, um, you have unlimited space for content that is uh, being brought over and stored um, onto your Google Drive account. If you're on a personal account, there definitely is a limit, uh, depending on um, what you have done to upgrade or not upgrade on your account. So please be mindful of that because it does definitely affect your, your storage capacity as far as how much stuff you're bringing in. So keep that in mind as you're bringing content in. Anything that you bring in that you do convert over into a, uh, like let's say from a, a Word document into a Google Doc or a presentation that you convert when you bring in a, into a Google Slide, uh, those things don't count against your storage space. So that that's a big plus too. So keep those things in mind. I'm gonna go to the, um, uh, the little gear icon up here at the top right, and I'm gonna go to settings to show you that when you're gonna drop uh, things in from your computer onto your Google Drive or when you're gonna import them in, uh, notice that one of your options under settings is to convert upload. So if you are bringing in items like a Word document and you want it to convert automatically to a Google Doc, for example, make sure that this box is selected so that it does that conversion for you automatically. If you don't want it to convert any of your presentations or things like that, then make sure that this is not selected because otherwise you'll find that all of your items that you've brought over have actually been converted into uh, Google Drive format types like a Google Doc, a Google Slide, or um, a spreadsheet. So be mindful of that. Um, once you're done making your selection, click on the done button and then begin to upload your files. Again, I hope this was helpful um, and good luck uh, bringing in all of your documents. Uh, it's a great place to certainly store and back up all of your content so you don't have to worry about uh, them getting lost if they're only on your computer.